Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review slash first impressions and wear test on the new NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. Okay, so can we just talk about the shade range on this? Like, it's so amazing and inclusive. Like, it's just, honestly, it's so satisfying to see the gradients of the shades, like from the palest shade, and it's just like everything in between from the palest to the darkest shade. And it's just so amazing to finally see brands do that, and they should have been doing that a long time. But after seeing this NYX one, it's just a lot of brands to really follow in their footsteps because brands really need to be inclusive of people that can't find their shades. I mean, I've seen foundations that have like 12, maybe less foundation shades, and that's honestly just not fair to people who have really pale skin tones and really dark skin tones. And it's just um, amazing to see that a brand is doing this. I mean, we've seen when Fenty kind of really started this um, effect, and so I'm really glad to see that so many other brands are kind of following in those footsteps. Alright, so I got the shade Neutral Buff. It does look a little dark, but I got it because I'm still a little tan, and I think that this will hopefully be a match. If not, I'm sure that I will find my shade um, once my tan goes away. Alright, so like I was saying, the shade range is amazing. I'm going to try to include uh, pictures of the lightest and the darkest shade so you guys can see how amazing this range is. Okay, so on their website, I'm going to read their description. It says, okay, this comfy liquid formula comes in 45 flattering tones that don't transfer. So that number itself is amazing. And the thing is, a lot of brands come out with a lot of foundation shades, but they'll be like really similar. Like, like there'll be a lot of medium tone shades and a lot of light shades, but there isn't really like a fair amount and this one there really is a fair amount of light shades medium shades dark shades everything in between so that's really amazing to see that all right so every creamy shade glides on smooth delivering matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours and it also works to control shine and mattify your complexion all day long it is also non-comedogenic and suitable for normal oily combination and sensitive skin types all right so i'm oily skin type so we're going to see how this works because I'm really excited about it. I really want to love this foundation, and I do already just by the shade range and what I hear from it. So hopefully it wears really nicely, and we're going to go ahead and see how it looks. Alright, so I already primed. I used the ColourPop All-Star Primer. I mentioned this, I think, in my last, you know, my two last videos, I think it was. And I was testing it out, and I've been using this non-stop. I love it so much, guys, because I, the other primer I used was the Too Faced Primer Poreless, and that's a little on the pricier side. So, I mean, I was willing to do it because I really love that primer and it worked really well for me and my foundation looks great on it and my oils wouldn't seep through. But this primer does the same thing, if not more, because it's a matte and blurring primer and it definitely does that. It actually, my foundation looks has been looking so good on top of this lately. My oils are not coming through. It's just been so wonderful and it's only $10. So this is definitely my go-to primer right now and I love it because I can just easily repurchase it like three times, which is like the worth of the other primers out there. Alright, so, like I said, I got the shade Neutral Buff. Alright, so it is a pump, which I love pumps. Um, those are just so much easier than uh, the Estee Lauder is, like, my favorite foundation. But the only thing I don't like is that it's one of those, like, pore foundations and you get too much. It makes a mess. Don't like that. But, I mean, they do sell, like, an extra pump, but I think it should just be standard that a foundation has a built-in pump rather than having to buy one separately. So, I definitely like this. I also like squeezy tube foundations, but this one is nice packaging. It is a glass bottle. It says to shake well before using it, so I'm going to make sure to do that. So I'm just going to do a few pumps. I'm going to start off with one pump and see what that does. Alright, so on one side I'm going to be using my regular foundation brush by Real Techniques, and on the other side I'm going to be using a beauty blender. Alright, so I'm just going to dot this on my face like I usually would. Okay, so I think I'm going to need a little more than one pump, so I'm just going to do like half a pump. Alright, I'm just going to blend it out. Alright, so now moving on to the beauty blender side. I'm just going to blend out the forehead with a brush because I usually use a brush anyways. Okay, so it's applying pretty nicely. It's blending nicely. Only thing is that 
it's kind of like going over my acne spots and it's like not really covering them up it's actually like I don't know like kind of like leaving a space open for it um, so that's kind of what I got with one layer I'm gonna go ahead and do another layer And I'm going to bring it down to my neck. So I wouldn't really say that it's extremely full coverage because I am having to use quite a bit of product to get the coverage that I would like. So I noticed with the Beauty Blender, it doesn't, like I said, I have some acne there, so it's like not really applying the product as nicely in those areas. And like with any foundation, when you use a beauty blender, it usually it kind of takes up some of that product. So that's why I don't really like using beauty blenders that much. Um, especially with expensive foundations, which this one isn't. It's definitely on the affordable side because it's only, I believe, $14.99. This shade looks like super orange on me right now, but hopefully like once I add concealer and like blend everything together, it'll look better. It's definitely drying matte. Oh wow, that is really matte. Oh, I love that. Usually, like at this point, another foundation would still feel like tacky, um, but this one doesn't. It's literally, it's dried really matte. All right, so I think that is looking pretty good. All right, so like I said, it didn't really do so that great of a job covering up my acne and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some concealer over those areas. So that definitely works better. I'm using a smaller brush for like getting into small, um, more like detailed areas. I think it's also because this is um, not my normal shade, so it's kind of like a little more difficult to use, I guess, because like it just looks more obvious, um, the color difference in my skin. Alright, so now I'm just going to put my regular concealer on. I'm using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I've really been loving this stuff lately. It's kind of what I've been using every day. And I'm just going to highlight um, some of the high points of my face. Alright, so the concealer blended in really nicely. Um, it looks really good so far. Again, it's feeling really matte, and so that's good. I really love matte foundations because, again, my skin is very oily, so we're going to see how this wears. I'm just going to go ahead and put some powder on. Alright, so for setting my face, I used the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, that's kind of what I use all the time, and the ColourPop um, No Filter Setting Powder for under the eyes. So this powder, I really love it, but the only thing is that lately it has been like, well I've been applying it with a brush lately, I've actually, I usually use it with a um, damp beauty blender, and with the brush, like it just gets everywhere and it gets in my nose, and like I can taste it for like the next hour because it just like, in my system and so that's annoying but other than that it works really well so I just kind of deal with that all right so so far it's looking really good um, there is like no pores to be seen let me zoom you guys in so you guys can see what it looks like at initial application all right so this is what it's looking like um, fortunately I have um, unfortunately I have some acne that I've been trying to get rid of it's so annoying but other than that like in all the other areas it's looking really nicely like under the eyes there is no um, pores, like you really can't see any pores. 
yeah, it's looking really nice so far. So good. I'm liking how it applied. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so now I'm done with the rest of my face and it is actually looking really good. The color matches pretty perfectly actually once everything was put on. So it is a really good match to my tan. I'm so glad because I was wearing like light foundation and it was just like, I was like a mess. Super pale and then like my tan. So I'm really glad that I found a perfect shade for this. I know that if you guys go out and try to shade match, you'll probably, most likely, definitely <laughs> find your shade with this amazing shade range. So it is looking really nice with all the products I've put on. The only thing I will say is that since it is, like I think it's only because it is not my shade that it doesn't really cover up my acne that well, which is the only thing that's kind of like eh for me. But I think that it's because like my acne is like super red and like this color doesn't really cover it that well I think but um, I kind of just like I went over it a little bit because it's looking like really patchy like the areas that I tried to um, spot conceal with the foundation was like super dark so it's really obvious that I had like acne there but I, it looks okay now um, yeah other than that it's looking really nice still really matte and here is just a close-up of how it's looking um, it's looking pretty good with the areas that I don't have acne like my scarring has mostly faded so and I'm ha so it looks really smooth actually which I really like that it's actually looking like that um, yeah like everywhere other than those little acnes I have it is looking really good so I'm really excited to see how it wears it is just about to be 11 so I will be back in a few hours and check you guys in I have some errands to run I'll come back to check in with you guys and let you guys know how the foundation wore. Um, I'll be going out. It's really hot out. It's 95 degrees. So we're going to see how this foundation wears not only with the heat but with my oily skin and with the rest of the products that I've been wearing. But so far so good. First impressions. It is looking really nice. It is again very very matte which I love and all of my products that I usually use mix really well with it. So that's a plus for me. And again in the shade is a great the shade range is perfect for my skin right now so I'll be back in a couple hours to let you guys know how it is wearing alright guys so I'm back with an update it's currently 7 32 p.m. so it's been almost nine hours since I have first applied the foundation and it's actually been wearing really nicely it's definitely matte just like it says so if you have a skin type like me I would definitely recommend trying this foundation because none of my oils have really come through the only places that have gone oily is kind of like my nose and just this area right here some of the foundation um, kind of came off here but that's kind of standard for me but everywhere else like here like it's definitely transfer proof which it says um, when I was reading on the website it says it doesn't transfer and I definitely agree with that because like some foundations you touch it and it like literally comes off on your fingers and this one really doesn't like I touch it and it's just totally matte um, except again for kind of like the t-zone area um, I don't typically wear foundations longer than this period except for like some days where I have to wake up at 7 and then like I like kind of start my day there and then like don't take it off till like 8 or 9 so it's like 12 13 hours but I think that this foundation would wear pretty well in that time frame so the foundation does claim to be 24 hours and I would never wear foundation for 24 hours but um <laughs> I don't know if it would wear that nicely anyways because again I said so there is some oiliness here other than that it is looking really nice um I think that if I were to wear it for a couple more hours though there might be some um more oil seeping through that could be like the products that I've been using I might try with the other primer that I typically use the Too Faced Primer and Poreless and I'll let you guys know how that one works but it's it definitely worked really nicely. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off is that since this shade doesn't match like my natural like face color right now, it's like whenever in some of the areas where it does come off, like kind of like where like my eyebrows and like around my mouth, but you can see like my actual skin color, so it kind of just looks like orangey. But that's only because of the shade. This has nothing to do with like the formula. So I know that I'll definitely be purchasing this foundation once my tan fades, so that I can get a color that is more true to my skin color. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can get a better look as to how the foundation has worn throughout the day. Alright, so as you guys can see, it looks pretty much the same as it did this morning, which is amazing. Because a lot of foundations don't work that well for me. Like the ColourPop one, unfortunately, didn't work well for me even after just a couple of hours. It was just separating in a lot of areas. But this one, the only areas that I'm seeing some like separation is the T-zone, which again is normal for me. But everywhere else, it is completely matte, nothing comes off. And again, like I said, it didn't really do that great of a job covering up this acne because of the shade that I got. 
but other than that again it just everything applied really nicely on top of it so yeah this is kind of a close look you guys can see that there is some oil on this like kind of here and a little bit on my forehead but like here it's just it feels really great and it's definitely a lightweight foundation you don't feel like you're wearing anything at all which is something that I love I hate wearing foundations that like feel really like cakey and this one isn't one of those so that's definitely a plus okay so going back to reading the claims it says that it's lightweight which definitely that is a check for me because it definitely does feel lightweight to me it says it is waterproof okay so I also I did a lot of things today um, this morning I went to get my tires rotated I got some pictures developed um, I went to physical therapy and in therapy they do they have you do like some exercises which kind of make me sweat and so my face is sweating a little bit and the foundation did not come off at all so I would agree that it is kind of waterproof I can't fully attest to that because I didn't like go swimming or anything but um, yes I would say that it is pretty sweat proof um, also it is really hot outside today it was about 90 something degrees and it didn't come off because of that either so that's another plus it says it is pigmented, yum. Yeah, it is definitely pigmented and buildable, I would say. It is a completely, it says it's full coverage. Um, I wouldn't, I would say it's probably buildable if you want to, um, because I did have to build up a lot of some product for this acne that I told you guys earlier. It says it has matte coverage. I would definitely give that a plus as well because it is very, very matte. I'm not sure how it would wear on dry skin, but I think that it would work well with normal skin. I don't know how well it would work for dry skin but it doesn't feel like I don't know how like it doesn't feel like it would be drying like it feels really moisturizing I want to say um it says works to control shine and mattify your complexion all day long it did do that um kind of except for the t-zone area but other than that there is no shine anywhere else but kind of the t-zone is where you typically get shot anyways so I would kind of yeah about that and it is non-comedogenic. I don't really know. I know that I don't really know if that is true, but I'll let you guys know if I break out or anything because of this foundation. And it's suitable for normal, oily combination and sensitive skin types. So I am oily and sensitive, and it has worn really well. But I will let you guys know um, the more the more I wear it throughout the next few days. I'll let you guys know if anything, if my skin reacts in any way. All right, so those are the claims, and it has met most of them. Just the only thing, again, is kind of controlling the shine here. But it has been nine hours, and typically I wear foundation for, I guess, nine hours. And it's still looking pretty well. If I wear it any longer, I know that I could just put powder and blot away some of that oil, and it would look brand new. Yeah, and, like, sometimes, also, it didn't, like, rub off of my nose, which is something that has happened with other foundations. Like, it'll just come off completely, like, in my nose. And it didn't do that. The only place it came off was like kind of like under here. Yeah, like under there. But it didn't come off like my actual nose. Also, like it didn't, um, like I said in the beginning when it applied, like you couldn't see any of my pores. And that's still true right now. It does look very smooth and skin-like. Alright guys, so those are my final thoughts on this foundation. I have really liked it so far. I'm going to keep wearing it throughout the next few days and keep you guys updated on what I think of it. But so far, as a first impressions, I really, really like it. And I definitely approve of this. Um, for my skin type because I have really oily skin as I've mentioned before and this actually wore really nicely throughout the day. It didn't feel um, heavy on my skin, it didn't have too many oils seeping through and it's definitely matte to the touch, it doesn't transfer which is kind of like something that I really look for. And again the shade range is an amazing thing. This one matches my tan perfectly and I'll definitely find a shade that matches my true complexion once my tan fades. Also for the price point it is $14.99 which I would, is definitely a steal compared to the foundations that are out there. My favorite is the Estee Lauder which I think is like $42 and so I've been looking for a good foundation, a drugstore foundation to use and I definitely will be leaning towards this. Um, I think that I will still wear the Estee Lauder on days that I know I'm going to be wearing makeup throughout the day like really long, longer than 9 or 10 hours because I know that that foundation really doesn't have any oil seeping through, at least for me. Um, but I will be wearing this kind of regularly because I think that it is definitely like more on the affordable side. It works well with my skin. It's definitely mattifying and lightweight, which is something that I look for in an everyday foundation. Alright, so overall, I definitely approve of this foundation. If you guys haven't already, you should definitely try it and definitely get shade mesh. I'm sure you will find your shade. So congratulations to NYX Cosmetics and Alyssa Ashley for this amazing collaboration. I hope that other brands will follow their footsteps and expand their shade ranges. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you guys found it helpful. Make sure to go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.